going on guys i'm bringing you guys a full tutorial on how to download sweet effects for bf4 uh, i know there's a lot of injectors out there that like haven't worked and uh things that have like bugged people's games out and this is kind of like a foolproof version of uh that it truly works um i've used this with multiple people now and it seems to work perfectly all right so starting off i'm going to leave the link in the description for this google drive folder that i've made for everything that you should have first off you're going to want to start by making a um a new folder on your desktop call it whatever um, I'm gonna have it called just focus sweet effects whatever um, and what you want to do is download all the things here um, everything except for this file right here it needs to go in this folder everything except for this sweet effects settings right so all of this and everything that's inside of this sweet effects folder so you can download this folder download all these files and put it inside of your folder on your desktop um, so it should look something like this um, then you're going to want to download the Sweet Effects Settings dash focus and put it separate on the side here, um, and we'll get to that later. All right. So once you have everything in this folder, what you're going to want to do is run the reshade dot setup. Um, I already have Sweet Effects on BF4, so it's going to ask to like override and stuff like that. But you shouldn't get that unless unless you've tried to put Sweet Effects on your game before and you have some files left over it won't say anything about that so what you're gonna do is go on to origin and make sure you're running either x64 or x86 I'm gonna show you how to do that here so you're gonna come into origin go to your game library uh, go into BF4 and go into settings uh, and to game properties come all the way over to advanced launch options and it'll be the first one you're either gonna have x64 or x86 x64 is probably gonna be better for you overall um, so once you make sure that you're x64, you're going to do bf4.exe, just the regular bf4.exe. This is the 64 uh, version. Um, it doesn't say it is, but it is. Uh, so you're going to press open. It's going to say auto detection failed. Please select. Don't worry. You're just going to select directory 10 slash 11. Uh, and you won't get this since I already have sweet effects folders. Um, it's asking to override the ones that are already there. I'm going to press yes and press run battlefield so sometimes it will start your game sometimes it won't um, I'm gonna see if it's gonna start mine okay so it didn't start my game so now when you go into your BF4 folder um, you should have um, sweet effects right here and then when you scroll all the way down you should have sweet down effects reshade down effects DXGI um, all that stuff so so once you're done with this um, you're pretty much done with this file you don't need anything in here anymore um, what you're gonna do is take your sweet effect settings that focus and you're going to select everything in here and copy it once you've copied everything from here what you're gonna do is go back into your uh, BF4 folder and go into sweet effects and then sweet effects dash settings see what this is right now this is just stock sweet effects your game if you run it right now it would look exactly the same as it did before so what you're gonna do is select all this and delete it and then paste everything from the sweet effects settings that I put for me into this one and you're just going to save it and you should be done um, now we're gonna go into battle log one thing I'm gonna tell you is that if you're running Razor Synapse sometimes it messes with it or anything that has like an external overlay you're gonna want to close it uh, like MSI Afterburner you can open it after you join the game but before you join the game you're gonna want to close it so we're gonna hop into test range here I don't have anything open like Razor Synapse or stuff like that um, okay and then once you start loading the second you pull up your game you should notice a difference you'll see in the top left it comes up with a reshade that 1.1 whatever now you should immediately see a difference here like this looks a ton different than your default game as you'll see here by pressing scroll lock lock it disable and enables it and you can see the massive difference already one thing people love about sweet effects so much is that not only does it look really nice but it also doesn't affect your game fps at all uh, with all of my friends they haven't noticed any difference in fps when you effects or without using it uh, and it looks a ton different and I think it looks a lot better um, as well as everybody else that's tried it now one disclaimer I'm going to give you right now um, I have heard of people getting banned for using sweet effects but I can guarantee you if you use these settings and you don't tweak them at all you will not get banned I've been using these settings these like same exact sweet effects settings for over eight months now and I've never had a problem with getting banned from a server or getting banned from BF4 in general uh, because of sweet effects so if you guys have any questions about sweet effects if you're having a little trouble installing I am very willing to help uh, just leave a comment below and I will get to you as soon as humanly possible if you guys enjoy the video please leave it a like 
subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.